Okay, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. We're going to be playing episode 2 of Brave New World. And I hope it doesn't mess up uh, this time. So yeah, I'm going to turn the music uh, back on, and then I'm going to go to the episode. And let me know if my fan interferes with the live stream. I got it on medium. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on low. There. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Preston. If involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child. I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. But Chloe didn't bully anyone. She stayed out of it. <laughs> she minded her own business. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation. Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, 
because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. She still has red paint on her Chloe, hands. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you, or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. But the performance is to... For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction... Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. Accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. 
Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly, but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. I'm gonna see what Circle does. I understand that you're a fucking- Chloe! We understand, Mr. Wells. <laughs> I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Oh, yeah. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I don't own any music if it plays any music. It's just on the game. I'm sorry. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I... I'll see you. In the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. A eh, Skip? Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh. Just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thank you. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. I don't know why the... When she's saying certain things, it will skip ahead. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. That's sad. Because I think she lost her cat this, you know, like a few weeks or a month before she lost her dad. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Suspended for the year. It's starting to feel real. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all.
Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me, uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max. 
that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Max would have loved this shit. Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? All that's left is to get arrested. I hear the lighting is super important for setting the tone. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics. And their enormous bank accounts. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. 
Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. Hey. What brings Chloe Price to school? Do you want a hug? Uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans. But maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. His head much? That has to be Skip's car. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. About damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe. Your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Chloe, we just want to help. <laughs> I'm sure. I know what you did. The money in my purse. I appreciate it, Chloe. But where did it come from? I, I stole it. Oh, Chloe. I'm so disappointed in you. Why am I not surprised? From a total dick. 
<laughs> You'd like him. <laughs> this is so pointless. I don't understand what we're doing here. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about... Joyce, very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I... plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe! Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. 
Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I thought if I put, I forgive you, not him. See what say that. I should have did square. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. She knows what a stable home is like before her dad died. And her friend moving away. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here.
magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. No. Not going over there. Cigarettes. All great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Got it. I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there. up here. <sighs> I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire, pretty sweet. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone.
A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Don't want to leave yet. This rug has some miles on it. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Wow. I should angry graffiti more often. This is no good. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Well, she also had a lot of anger in and her. So when she got mad at Rachel, it all came out. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but... Who knows? You're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Here's the site of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. This one won't work. This mat has seen some things, mostly feet.
Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? If the battery's even in it. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? I thought she would think something different. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. American Rust. Sounds about right. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. This rug has some miles on it. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat.
It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Light the way, Robobulb. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Maybe the future is bright. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Avast, or whatever. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you. Okay. And Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Looking good, Robobulb. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about. Technically, we're all about to die. If you take a wide enough view of things. What 
do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. Looking good, Robobulb. Don't ever smoke, it's not good. In my own time. I'm trying to reach out, I know I'll get there soon There's a hole in the earth here And we're walking around the edges You were flaunting all your open wounds I can't express them better than you you have buried childish qualities from me. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? I'm just glitching some with the lighting. I wonder if it burned like this the day... The day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? 
Do I even like marshmallows? I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? Are you trying to tell me something? Dad? 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 Do I even like marshmallows? I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. I thought she was going to think something else about it. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in.
Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can't... Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck, because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. 
Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. Bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
My cutting edge in junkyard security technology. It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Shack visitors. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Now I just need a photo of David. Frank's outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. Okay, I think I did everything. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's... It skipped. She said it's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. I guess that was the password. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who was that whoop? Ah! Jeez, man. Get my notebook price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? I cut right to the chase, Jack. What can you tell us about this huge fire? It's a nasty one, all right. Big, hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like Got this. Got it. This might not be the most gentle, but it is important. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive-through order. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. That's an insane amount of beans. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. <laughs> well, that's a lot of meat. Part of a balanced breakfast. I 
guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Fight the power. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Hey there. Aww. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. That puppy's cute. Argus and Bowser are okay. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Okay. Oh. 
because Frank finally gave up on the stake. A throne fit for Frank. Okay, I guess I will go ahead and get the notebook. My mic is still on. Yep. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking... Should I let it go or demand answers? I think I'm going to let it go because he's not wanting to tell me. Okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway. You and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough for I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. 
Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I think this game is in 2010 and the next game takes place three years after. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. The uh, Prescott dormitories. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. A new medium? Welcome to hell. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... never. <sighs> Shh. 
What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. There's Evan, putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Ah. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't... Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. I thought she was done thinking. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh... What, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That's not true at all, man. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has. With much love and no room for fear. I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. Is he trying to be Yoda? Oh, he has a, a heart. Wait. Yoda. How does Yoda stop? He has a heart, he does. <laughs> or something like that. 
Oh, it just reminds me of how Yoda talks in Star Wars. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've gotta go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Samuel, Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Just... Ugh. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh... I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels... shitty. And here I am, about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that True owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. 
But if you feel comfortable telling me... She's... I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Why, yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Rachel would have brought the house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Locked. Ugh, figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Blackwell Academy. <sighs> Been serving water since... never. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Am I gonna break the sprinklers? How do I get Samuel out of there? It looks like he's working on the sprinklers. Come on. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Uh... Okay, where? That bird is really pretty. I can see why Evan would follow it around all day. <sighs> hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Uh. Here we go. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. A bird on top of a bird. Photo of the year, Evan. Evan should be far enough away now. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... That works.
Yeah. Sorry, man. Desperate times call for smashing sprinklers. Uh, I hope that's actually fixable. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Definitely cheers the place up. Alone at last. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I can't. I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. Need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. 
Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh? I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. There's a way to get him to quit and go on his, you know, do, you know, be with his band full time. I don't know. All right, which one is Drew's room? Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too many chances to screw up before senior year. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. <laughs> he looks up Chloe a lot. They've been going to school ever since kindergarten. Why does he need to look up Chloe on the internet? Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. 
That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? I thought she was going to think something else. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Emotional. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And... Talented? Eh, I'm no poet. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. No. That is really gross. I wonder what Max would think. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. What do I do if Drew's here?
Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game. Durgaron. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Plenty of possible combinations here. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Look at that. More numbers. Oh, I gotta remember the numbers. Okay. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. I don't think that's enough. Numbers. This is Plenty of possible combinations here. Okay, so is it 19? 92? Damn it. Wrong numbers. Okay, what's on this? A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? No, these have too many numbers. Is it oh zero nine zero nine? Damn it. Wrong numbers. And that's too many numbers. Is there something? I didn't here? realize Drew was this good at Frank wasn't lying. Oh. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. He didn't look at everything. That I did. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Plenty of possible combinations here.
what is it, 1996? Wait, did I read that right? Plenty of possible combinations here. 1996. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Plenty of possible combinations here. Twenty-seven, maybe. Ah. Yes. This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roaming the halls. Were you wanting to play more tabletop games? Bro, we got... What are you doing here? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week... Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Uh, Sorry to have to do uh, this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck! Stop! It's okay. I, I've ah, got your money. I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? 
Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Let's see the cash. We need that! It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. Yes, it is. Mikey's my friend. I don't want him to get hurt. Neither do I. Mikey, I gotta look at your arm. Just leave us alone. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets, does it? We'll be okay. I wasn't gonna let him get beat when I had the ability to stop it. I just hate that his little brother got hurt. That's a lot of smoke. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her.
gonna be right back. It'll be like two minutes, maybe three.
Okay, I'm back. Was I going wrong? <laughs> okay. Gotta find Rachel. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Did Doug... Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? How if I know? Or did David... Did Doug dig David... Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. Betty bought a bit Sucks of Sucks for butter, Betty. But she found Betty bought clueless, klutzy Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Clueless, klutzy Wait a second. Chloe, clueless, klutzy... How's your super long hair and going? Okay. See Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creators. Sports just look so uh, exhausting. You'd think having a jock for a brother would protect you from getting hurt. Man, I hope Mikey's okay. See? Another reason to be thankful for my uh, recent life change. <laughs> bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get. E Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. <laughs> Playing the part of the. Oh. Didn't I write that in episode one? <laughs> or is that a different one? Oh, nope, it's not. It's a different one. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do Nathan's it, Dad. Nathan's dad looks I'm like sorry. he's Keep your really voice laying down. into him. Now listen to I me. I wonder what it's about. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Hey. He's mean. Yes. Damn. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Nathan.
Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and his dad. Hey. Nathan's dad is... some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking... I'm sorry. For what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I... no. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. That's why I didn't get involved with him and Drew yesterday. Well, that, and not really caring either way. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. Samantha may be the only person in the world who really cares about Nathan. Including Nathan's dad. Thanks for your help, Chloe. Here's hoping. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. My spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel... I should find Rachel. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Chloe Price presents Firewalk, Laser Light Spectacular! Drama teachers always seem so... <sighs> dramatic. Sup? Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? For sure. Uh, the only person you can trust in this world is yourself. Everything else is just hormones and fairy tales. <laughs> a cynic's wisdom takes no prisoners. Budding dramaturge. May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... weird. Best find your seat, my dear. Showtime approaches. 
This dude cares more about high school theater than I've ever cared about anything. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Humbly crowded, careful creatives. Lutzy, Chloe, clumsily crowded... Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of Social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? Don't you know your Shakespeare? Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have gone on stage and made a complete ass of yourself in front of everybody. Ever. People love theater. It's cool. High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends abandon you. <laughs> the dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... <laughs> what am I saying? I don't have I to justify myself to you. Chloe, say that. You know the phrase, drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. Oh, I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater! You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as... What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. I better get ready. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas. Devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I... Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated, 
and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking At chance. At least until the road's clear. The Cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's cough. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. This outfit looks uncomfortable. Seriously, have to memorize all of this? Okay. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> okay. I'm glad about one thing. I'm able to go back and look at this anytime. I'm able to go. <laughs> I can't see it. I am glad because I don't know if I could remember all that. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. Rachel thinks this is a comedy, but it's a tragedy for me. Looks like I'm late, as usual. Wait, what time is it on here? The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. Why, 
accident most strange, Chin, hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. Okay, look. Ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. That looks so comfortable right now. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Ugh, that killed my eyes! Wait, isn't that the woman that was kissing Rachel's dad right there? What is she doing here? Sick lightning! I bet Elamon could cast that. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. I want to play her part. <laughs> Rachel looks way too pleased with herself for getting me into this. Okay, so I'm supposed to stand right here. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Okay. I boarded the... Okay. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and Cried. Cried. <clears throat> Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Not a hair perished, and, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle.
In... Troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. <laughs> is there more? Okay. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty! Indeed! Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? Wait, was it her line? She's not saying her lines. Cause her line is before the time be out. <laughs> but thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off shrimp. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitements. A mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures. I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. Then there's no other choice. I'll run away. Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it! So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of your Was that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On!
uh, hmm. As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. I feel sorry for him. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertaining. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all overthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting my... In the dead of night, I'll meet you in my sleep. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll take you where My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your...
slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. I'm happy, but I'm still worried about Mikey and Drew and where I'm going tonight and all of that. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. What do you think? Should I run away to be an actress? Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it! I, I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but, like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to, because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it to that asshole, Damon. So, I didn't get a cut like Frank promised. You did what you had to do to keep Drew safe. Still, that whole situation was so messed up. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, forging on food truck food, smoking up, 
looking at the moon shining on the waves. Uh, I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me a promise, in ink. Like, a contract? No. This is temporary. The deal is, you get it done for real. Then, I'll believe you. What if I said let's leave tonight? R really? What is this? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Big house. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star, you're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel? Honey, you were resplendent tonight. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, 
I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to m make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested <laughs> what would you be arrested for it was a joke not a good one clearly what do you think I thought Rachel was perfectly cast she certainly was we're very proud of her I had no idea they were going to do that do what I don't know the name for it uh... Reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. They say all news is local, but damn. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Mikey's okay, though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Something else? Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I'm glad I gave him the cash. That's that woman. Along with Frank, the guy that was outside the... Uh... Mill. 
and the two guys that attacked Chloe at the mill. I guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. What am I saying? Fuck this place. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. How many cabinets do you need? Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets. Right? 
secrets? Like attorney client privilege and all of that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature. You can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Yes, Chloe? So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of course. It's off to the table with you. Everything about this house is nicer. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. 
comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I were worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks. I should stay down here until Rachel is ready. Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Sherry glass. Sherry glass? Yeah, I'm in way over my head here. Uh. It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Why does she do that? Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to- Light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Dinner will be ready in just a moment. Did you like Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. Time to fix this photo. Good. <laughs> I wonder where Rose keeps the wooden stakes. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. 
So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No. That's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <clears throat> Dinner's really good. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel. Can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook James. kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey. Whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Uh, what's going on with those candles? What's going on with Rachel? <laughs> Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Hmm. I thought Rose 
was Rachel's mom. Shadows settle on the place that you left. Our minds are troubled by the emptiness. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones. Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs. Setting fire to our insides for fun. Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong. The lovers that went wrong. Most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing That's the next episode right there. I will play it another day. I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. There's more coming soon, like Remothered and More Life is Strange. So I hope y'all come back and watch. Uh, like the live stream, or if you are watching it in the future, put a like on the video. Ring the bell when you subscribe, that way you can see more content like this, along with music videos.
Okay, I'm going off the live stream.